What are you expecting to see from both Michigan? Uh, well, Michigan has, uh, you know, they're, they're first, so that's our focus right now, obviously. But they have a great team, really solid up and down, up, up and down their lineup. So, um, yeah, we got to be ready to wrestle. So it be a, should be a great match. It's here you've got three dual weekends. Yeah. yeah. With the schedule that you have, you know, sort of from uh, progressing to, you know, not so much in dual challenges and then a couple tournaments and then a couple of weeks. Yeah. Pleased with the progress and ready for this game. Yeah, we, I mean, we'll, we'll find out if we're ready, right? I mean, we obviously we, you know, the Big Ten schedule is very similar each year, and uh, you know, Big Ten is very tough in wrestling, so you're gonna have tough matches, and uh, but that's why kids come to Penn State, right? They want to wrestle and wrestle in big matches, and um, uh, you know, nothing's better than wrestling twice in a weekend. You know, maybe wrestling three times in a weekend, right? But you know, so you know, this is uh, this is the time of the year that these guys should be. Excited about. How unique is the situation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, all three of those guys are are great, and they're all all American uh, contenders, right? So, you know, McCutcheon started the season uh, ranked really high, and had to, he's had the injury default, uh, a couple losses, but uh, yeah, Kassar is wrestling well, and, and uh, obviously Shakur. Had a great tournament, so um, yeah, we're, we've got to figure that weight class out as we move forward. But um, that's something we'll work on. Yeah, it's, uh, open for suggestions. You know, I mean, it's when you get into the season here and you have matches on Friday and Sunday. Uh, you know, it's 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 about the team right now, and, and uh, uh, but at the same time, we got to we want to establish who our who our guy is. But you know, uh, but we'll let them do that as as we press along here. But uh, we're. We're confident in in all three of those guys. We really are. Are you taking both of them? Too? Taking all three of them. Yeah, yeah, all and three. Cousins okay. Yeah. Well, he, he's he's I wouldn't say. I mean, he's 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 banged up a little bit, but I mean, he's just that important to our team that we'll 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 travel him as uh, one of we we can travel 15 on a on a two day trip. So yeah, he's he's that important to us that we're taking him with us. Yeah, absolutely. So Kale, how exciting is it to kind of have those options and all that competition here in the room? Uh. Well, you know, fortunately, we have a lot of great kids in the program, and and uh, you know, we have one mission, right? I mean, and uh, but yeah, we're blessed. We have some, we have some competition in a, in a few weight classes. You know, not not a lot, really. You know, I mean, you see that with the, the scuffle results. A couple of weights, we have multiple guys winning matches. Most of the weight classes, we don't. So that's something that we want to uh, we want to work on moving forward. But um, but yeah, we, we certainly have some uh, some options. I mean, right now, Luke Gardner is an option at 141. He's just got to get his weight down and be ready to go. Um, so we're, we're playing with that right now also. Kale, Mark told me last week that it obviously wasn't just his scuffle performance last year that went to the decision to pull his red shirt. He said it was um, his performance in the wrestling room and other things. Can you maybe talk about what some of those other factors are that go into making any sort of a lineup change? Yeah, well, I think you just got to make sure uh, the kid's ready to go, right? I mean, you know, team is first and foremost. Um, but you know these are also individuals that are putting their career in your hands, and you got to make a you know a responsible decision. It, you know if they're physically ready or are they mentally ready. Uh, you know are they and just all those those kind of things, right? I mean obviously with Mark Hall, you know, he had a lot of experience, and and uh, and it was a similar situation. That was a tough call last year because we had we thought we had three potential All American candidates in that you know in that weight class with Shakur was making 74 and uh, with Gino Morelli. So. Um, Decisions aren't um, easy, and we don't take them lightly. But a lot of factors go into that. What changes are you seeing in Shakur now that he's up several weight classes? Well, I think he's wrestling the same way, and that's why he's doing well, right? He, you know, he, he can hit both legs. He's, you know, he's tough on top. He can he wrestles through positions, you know, and that's the same thing that he was doing uh, at the lighter weights, you know. So, um, you know, obviously, one thing he doesn't have to worry about is is his weight anymore, and. Uh, it's a big, big jump from making 165 a few years ago to 197. Right? So, but he's doing, he's doing well with it, and we saw that he can compete and do a great job. We saw that at the scuffle.